in the past, I've recommended Stage Display Viewer to get the text output from ProPresenter 6 and send it to OBS, vMix, etc. But, I've had some problems with that recently, and it's kind of complex. So I was looking for a better solution, and I happened upon this. This is ProPresenter OBS. And what it does is basically the same thing, but it does it in a much easier way. So the first thing you do is you go to this address, github.com slash calebsurface slash ProPresenter dash OBS, and click this clone or download button. What we need to do is we need to uh, download this code. And once you download it, you'll get something like this. Well, Rhino won't be in there. That was a mistake I made. Uh, and config.js will not be in there either. What you need to do is... Um, either remove the dot example on the end or what I did was I duplicated it and then I opened this up in a text editor so and this should work cross-platform as far as I understand it so text edit on the Mac will do it and if we go to text edit here we have it now you need some information here. The original file, let me open that in text edit just to just to show you what it looked like was this. So you'll notice that there's an IP address here. That needs to be the IP address of your ProPresenter computer. In this case, since I'm using the same computer that I have ProPresenter 6 on, down here you can see it peeking out, I changed that to 127.0.0.1. And what that is, is that's the IP address that means this same computer. So we can leave that there. I could also have uh, just as easily gone into system preferences, looked at my own IP address right here, 192.168.0.23, and replaced it with that, but either way. So that's the first thing you need to change. Second thing, you need to make sure that this port is correct. So in the original, it had port 60157. I don't know what the original port was. It could be that it was 60157. Don't know that. But you can find that out by going into ProPresenter 6 and Preferences. And then going over to Network. And this is the port number you want. Right next to Network Name. First off, make sure you enable Network. But uh, then do that. The next piece of information you need is you need the password for the Stage Display app. Don't be confused and try and get one of these passwords. Those won't work and there's no error code if you accidentally use one of these instead of this one. Yeah, I know that because I accidentally used one of these instead of this one. So, not to show that I'm this great guy that makes no mistakes, I do. Couldn't figure out why it wasn't working, I just had the wrong password. So, make sure you grab that password, in this case I just put down 1234 for my password, um, and put that in this field right here. Um, which you see right th here. So I can actually hide the original now that I've shown that to you. The rest of this stuff is just preferences. Do you want it to fade? How fast do you want it to fade? Do you want it to repeat? Uh, and this has a neat little feature that if you do not want the text to show up on your live stream just write no dash OBS or you could put in whatever you want I suppose but no dash OBS in the note section of that slide and it won't show up isn't that cool so um, let's get out of this 
and I'm just going to select a slide here. And now let's bring up OBS and I can uh, show you what that looks like. So here we are in this and you'll notice, wait a second, this is all caps and this is camel case, just regular. So how do I fix that? Well, first off, let me show you this. Um, I'm, I hit it because I just got out of the shower. Wasn't planning on doing this, but decided to do, do it anyway. So here I am. Hi, my wet hair and all. So you can see that it is, in fact, transparent under here. But uh, let me go ahead and hide that. So how do you get rid of the all caps? Well, if we go back back into text edit there's also a stylesheet.css and this is the line we need to get rid of so if we uh, get rid of that and save it and then relaunch this I'm going to do that by hopping over to the, here and back and then selecting uh, different text let's Go for uh, that thou my God shouldst die for me and go back to OBS that thou my God shouldst die for me now so you see how that looks now how did I get that in well I added a browser source so I clicked here and I went to browser and then um, I created one since it wasn't existing and then clicked OK and the first thing you're going to need to do is change the resolution here. I happen to know that this particular one is uh, 1280 by 720. Um, custom frame rate, 30 frames per second is what I'm using here. So I need to find the file. So I could just put up anything on the internet. But what I want to do instead is go to local file and browse. And then navigate to where I have this stored, which happens to be the download folder. And select index.html and click open. And with it like that, I've also... I have both of these checked in the other version, so it should be the case that um, once I do that, that shows back up. Here, let me, yeah, I'll need to delete the secondary one just because things get a little confusing. Click OK. Select it again. Let's go for this slide. You'll know uh, in vain, in vain. So that's just the basic stuff. If you want to change how it looks, again, that style.css file is where you would do it. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, it even has a link to some handy online resources or see if you know anyone that is good at HTML. So that is just the basics of how to use um, ProPresenter OBS to send just the text formatted as a lower third into OBS from ProPresenter 6 while having something totally different on the main screen.